Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different to what I usually do. Instead of playing the game and commentating, we are gonna be spectating and casting gameplay instead. As most of you know, I sometimes host custom rooms on my live streams and we go by special rules such as melee only, sniper only, and some extremely sweaty gameplay. But this weekend, I also casted pro scrims from the Middle East region. And let me tell you guys that this was really, really insane. These were Shutter Island games, solo mode and mobile only and some of the players in these lobbies are the sweatiest players i've ever seen so before we dive into the action these scrims were hosted and sponsored by netease so a big shout out to netease for starting to support the competitive scene and also a huge shout out to all of the staff and volunteers that made this possible and of course a shout out to all of the players who participated because without them it would not be possible either all right i really hope you enjoy and let's dive into the action and as you guys can see we have karama over here in the corner he's gonna just stab the guy and Karamo just went one clock and I don't know if he's stuck down here he has a deagle and he's gonna be able to actually shoot the other guy down one HP one more bullet one more bullet and he's gonna try to melee him down and he doesn't manage to but someone else is already on his tail someone else is already on his tail and now he needs to run he did pop the beetle so he can heal up but is it gonna be enough is he gonna be able to get away from him sonic.x actually chasing him down and I think this is the end for Karama that was a very, very awkward spot. I don't know what just happened there. But the question that we really need to ask here is, where are people going to position? Rohe gets taken down by Banana very easily. Didn't spot him out from the window. And, um, well, Banana is going to have to move here. But before that, he needs to take down Devil. And that is some clean, clean aim. He's going to check his back. He knows that there's people in this building above him, behind him. So he's going to have to be careful. He takes on the 1v1 with Maldini and Banana is absolutely popping off here. I mean, he has kill after kill, 13 kills to his name. And he's gonna be, have to be very, very careful with the next zone because as we can see, he is not in the zone for the next zone. And there's a lot of people above, behind and left to him. He's gonna take this 1v1 and he is sliding around, emptying his magazines. Very, very nice movement. Doesn't quite manage to hit the shots. And there's another person over here. Poor, we have Husei and Husei takes down Banana. And this is gonna be the end of banana unfortunately he's gonna have to move to zone and he does but there is people everywhere and you are gonna have to be careful as you guys can see we have a lot of people to the right side a lot of people going down here zp kill boy Husei in this building also going down very nice third party from rohe but he is also gonna get third party then he's gonna have to be careful he takes down devil as well Husei also gonna get taken down no celebrates for him and rohe in a very very good spot here someone else gets a celebrate off and he did hear that but he cannot spot out where that is from and he has to be very very careful of where he peeks from because even this tiniest peak can get you killed he is gonna decide to use this van as cover and this is gonna be a very very nice move because that basically means that he has cover and he's very very close to the zone so basically anyone that needs to move to the zone is gonna have to pass him and that is some really really clean shots we can really see the power of the ar-97 in this game three shots and he's dead full-on headshots this is a very underrated assault rifle and he's gonna move to zone he is in the zone and now we have i'm shadow we have shadow goes down over here next to the rock and then we have amir also fighting 911 skill and amir is probably gonna go down here he's not in the zone he's gonna get taken down and that is game now we have i'm shadow down here at the bay power who say just went down we have Proma over here with the P90 that gets taken down as well. It gets third party. And as you guys can see, we have a lot of people that are playing Emma and Zero. Emma and Zero for high mobility. Actually, scratch that. We have someone else, Dalko over here, playing with Hank. And you know what? Hank is one of those picks. It's not as goofy as it sounds because that turret can do some serious damage if you spot it out, if you uh, put it down well. And not only if you put it down well, it can also body block people and prevent them from moving smoothly as well. Now we have Don over here getting absolutely beamed by that P90 from Am Shadow. Am Shadow is uh, moving around and he doesn't know that someone is actually sitting in the corner of that building. He doesn't know. So he's gonna move around the corner and he hears some footsteps but he doesn't know where to go. Moving around these like edges can be very dangerous. We have FBI Goat over here getting sprayed down by that P90. Very hard to track. He gets a kill. He's gonna have to go into cover. 
pop the beetle drone, and if not from a close, then you will get third party from afar. Now we have FBI Amasa on that rooftop, very, very vulnerable spot. Gets taken out by another AR-97, and we are on Rohe again, the winner of the previous Scream Lobby. He's gonna be able to spray down Jano, and Jano just gets taken down. I don't think he's gonna be able to spawn back, and Rohe right now just moving around. He needs to move for zone. Asa taking a lot of damage from Rohe, and Asa goes down, but not to Rohe. He got shot at by someone else, and he's gonna third party Husei over here. Husei, who doesn't spot him out, he's gonna be able to use his ability to dash to safety. And someone is self resing right next to him, and he's gonna wait for him to self res and you know why he, he does that. Oh! He tried to wait to steal the kill away, and Asta actually managed to survive and take down Rohe. So Rohe is out. Rohe is out. Syria over here with on Husay with that P90. The aim is not clean, but the movement is. And Husay also moving around, manages to get that kill off. And Syria is gonna go down here. Husay is in a very, very good spot to win the game, and there's only two people left alive. So let's see what happens. We have Asa versus Husay. Husay going back up on the high ground with his tactical ability, and Asa is actually healing with the Beetle Drone. So we can see that both. People are actually really using good use of their utility. And Husei is in a really, really good spot here. Husei being able to, to heal on that rooftop. And now he's going to have to take the fight. This is, a, this is where the movement is going to come in. This is where the aim is going to come in. And who's going to take it home? Husei goes down. And Asta takes the win. Now, we have a lot of people on this water treatment kind of side, and this is very, very unusual because it's literally the edge of the map. As you guys can see, we also have a helicopter here. We have Nemesis going for a swim. Not entirely sure what he is going for here he is very very low he's gonna take that zip line and ak is gonna spot that out here nemesis over here midlife trying to get away from his enemies but i don't think he, he'll be able to and he is actually one of the people that is not playing emma we have an Ethan player over here with that smooth movement and he has a p90 and has to be careful actually that is a hank player and he gets taken down by the hank turret he actually gets taken down by the Hank turret. Hank is meta. Hank is actually meta. Let's go. We have our first Hank kill, turret kill in this crim. That's amazing. Hobbsy over here on the processing zone side. There is a lot of people here. He has an AK. He also has an MP5, I believe it was. And he is pretty much trying to loot up, trying to stabilize his game. 50 people alive in this lobby. He does not have any money at all, but there is three people very, very close to him. We have Adam over here who is going up on the stairs. He finally manages to buy some weapons and he is going for that custom mp5 and mp5 up close is one of the deadliest weapons we have p90 that really really shreds and we also have the mp5 and those are kind of the go-to weapons for these mina scrims now he does also have an origin 12 which is interesting so basically he's only looking to be playing for close range and we have dead pushing up on him dead pops that beetle drone and they are gonna fight this out 1v1 and that, unfortunately, not hitting that many shots, gets a very, very clean shot. Uh, Hamsi gets a very, very clean kill with the other MP5. But he needs to be careful because FBI Zara is on his tail. He is spotted out. He's going to take that zipline for movement. And I don't know if he's going to be able to pull that off. He is pretty much stuck down here. And Zana is just gonna back off. You can see that Zana actually did pop a beetle drone just to make sure that if the fight does go down, he can recuperate while fighting. And that is why people play Emma so much. Now, Hamsi does not have enough with that. He is gonna try and push this kill and uh, try to play aggressively. Let's see if he manages to do so. Zana over here going up. We also have another third party coming in. And this is why you have to be careful being aggressive and trying to take on 1v1s. Zana pops a beetle drone, going outside, gets spotted out by another player, gets taken out by that other player. It's an Eden player with a shield, and he's gonna be pushing on Homsi. Is Homsi gonna take it down? He is gonna take him down, but there is more people right next to him. And is he gonna be able to recover without getting third party? I think so. Any 1v1 that where you play aggressively can potentially get third party, and that third party can get you killed. So even if you are confident on taking a 1v1, don't always be too overconfident. All right, we have Norden over here. Origin 12 versus MP5. Hamzi goes down, and that is an unfortunate 1v1 because Hamzi did have an Origin 12 as well, so that could have been a clean fight for him. I think he did have the edge because his opponent did spot him out rather late. And is he going to decide to drop back where he died, or is he going to try somewhere else to recover? 
It looks like he's gonna want to go back for his loot. Let's see if he can pull it off. Someone literally just self rest right next to him. And he manages to pick up that Origin 12. Does he manage to get the kill? He does not. He does go down again. And Nordin over here taking him down. And uh, he is gonna be dead here. Uh, we have Husei over here on the prison side. A lot of people on this side. We have Asa. We have Rohe. We have a Black. And these are all very, very sweaty players. We can see that these are the players that were actually all in the late zone last game. So if they do take each other down here, that could be very, very valuable because it is super hard to recover, especially in a crowded area where you can't necessarily drop back. Rohe over here absolutely going to beam down Husei. Husei trying to get some shots back in as well, but he does only have one HP. He goes down here. He is going to try to sell for us, and he might be able to pull it out because there is a lot of people here. Asa tries to third party him, but Asa also gets third party. And is Asa going to be able to take them down? Yes, he takes down Husei and then he takes down his other kill as well, preventing both of them from solve resing. And as we said many, many times, this is the this is the risk of playing aggressively. This is the risk of taking 1v1s. You will get third party and there is a lot of sweaty players. And if you don't have a way out, then you'll be doomed. We have about seven to eight people in prison alone. Now, what is going to happen in prison? People are going up, people are going down. You can see a lot of footsteps and he does have an express shop over here. Manages to get his loadout. Now, Husei has a very, very interesting loadout. He has a P90 and an MP5. Not even bothering purchasing uh, anything for range because people just like to push in these lobbies. It is Shutter Island and uh, it is very, very hard to... Um, uh oh, Amir comes back. He tried to buy something from the express shop. Is Husei gonna let him? Holy moly. Husei absolutely gets destroyed. Amir with a full-on headshot beam with that P90. That was absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like that before. We have Zana over here, still on this side of the map, trying to get some loot back, trying to stabilize. Still on blue shield, which is not ideal, so definitely want to try and upgrade that shield, either by buying shields or by doing damage. But for the time being, Zana pretty safe over here. We'll have to move to the zone, and that is going to be quite tricky, actually, because there's multiple people around. All right, we are spectating Amir. Amir right here on prison, takes down another. Doesn't have shield anymore, gets pushed by ZDX and that is a third party coming in hot. Unfortunately for Amir, that is gonna be an unfortunate third party. Now we have ZDX also getting third partied by Asta, but Amir is gonna drop back in the map. And I'm very, very curious to see what he's gonna do here. Is he gonna try to drop back and get some kills, stabilize on their weapons or is he gonna try to go for a loadout drop? Maybe get somewhere else for some other loot. And as we can see, he is kind of like just scouting the area, dropping down slowly. Gonna try to like pick something up. Luckily for him, he finds a P90, which is pretty much the best weapon you can fall on. Because P90s are very, very powerful, even if they are not custom made. Because a basic P90 will always have 50 bullets. Now, Don over here trying to run for his life, and those bullets were absolutely insane. Don just got fully headshotted, and it wasn't even funny. Now, Amir does have some good weapons over here. He has a custom AR-97 which he's gonna use. Kill boy, very, very low HP. One more bullet will do it for him, and he does go down, but not by the hands of Amir. He goes down by a tier banana, and tier banana right around the corner. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's gonna try to back down into, into this building over here, but Amir does know that, and he does spot him out, and he's gonna try to take some shots, but those shots are pretty early. Is tier banana gonna, like, turn it around? Amir doesn't have the speed to keep up with him. But they might meet again in this building. Now, we have someone in this building. Oh, man. We have dead in this building as well. Dead. Absolutely. Kind of like teleporting out. Unfortunately, that person is lagging. But Amir still manages to take him down. But he needs to be careful. He has a beetle that is healing him. And Tier Banana is right next to him in the zone. But Tier Banana might go down. Tier Banana does go down to the zone. Across, we have Ragnar. And Ragnar only midlife. And 911 skill right on top of him takes him down. Amir... Sitting in the corner, not a bad spot, but he does have a long way to move to the zone and doesn't have a lot of cover. He will have to move through. He's gonna pop some smoke in case he needs to go back and now he's gonna try to push for this building. Manages to do so without taking any damage at all and now he needs to know where people are. Because if you are in a good position, you can basically gatekeep people and prevent them from moving to the zone. If every good player does that that is in a good position, it is very very hard to move. He's gonna try to move behind the wall and see if he can pull that off. He does manage to pull it off. 911 skill did not spot Amir out and he's gonna get punished for it. He's gonna get punished for it. 911 skill tried to call a fill and balloon but it doesn't matter. 
managed to. And oh, Amir just can't get the kill off. And he gets third partied. And Amir goes down. And 911 skill still alive. Still alive. But he goes down to the zone. And who won the game? The last person who third partied everyone actually took it away. Rohe. It's Rohe, guys. Rohe. With the clutch third party taking away the win. Rohe first place, 911 skilled second place, Emir third place, Asta second place, uh, fourth place, and then we have Zana in the fifth place. GG's guys.